morning everybody from a beautiful early morning in Skyrim. This uh, Today I'm going to do Elsie's Build Your Noble House. The video is going to be in a few parts all spliced together. I have videoed it before uh, but of course it was all finished at that point. So I just thought I'd show you how it starts really. I'll show you where we are on the map. Here we are, it's called Fellberg, not far from Moss Mother Cavern, as Half Moon Mill. So when you turn up, this is what you get. You get a campfire, a tent, wood chopping block and a cooking pot. So that's pretty nice. And there is stone and clay, handily. Also a tanning rack and an anvil, so that is pretty cool. So to start building, if I had anything in my inventory, which I don't at the moment in the way of construction materials, just go to the carpenter's workbench in the normal way. And you can see construction orders for all these things. Now, this isn't everything. This is just the things you can make initially. Um, as you make them and construct them, then other things will open up. You know how it is. You've done these build your owns before. So once you've made the construction order, which is in your inventory, then you can use the build plans. So then you can choose which one. And you can see there's a whole lot. <laughs> oh my god. But hey, you can, once you've built it, you will get an income and pick up from this chest. Uh, you'll also be able to pick up food, eggs and so forth cabbages <laughs> and material so for example I'll I'll make a, a blacksmith a shop so all the materials etc from that literally this mod is going to make you so much money it's obscene amount of money <laughs> when it's all built as you can see I'm lumbered with Serana at the moment Oh my god, if there was ever an NPC that did my head in, it's that one. I've been meaning to download that edit Serana's dialogue. <laughs> oh boy, I wish I had. Luckily, I haven't got to put up with her for much longer. I'm near the end of Dawn Guard now. So, this is what you see. I'll get on with some building and I'll sh be back soon.
so as you can see, the build is coming along pretty well. I can now hire guards uh, just generally for this little area and also for my uh, advanced post. 4,000 gold, but you'll get it back in no time. And you can see other options have opened up now. Oh man, I've got so much to do. Onwards. Okay, so now we've got a training camp, an alchemy store and barracks. Here's the training area. And you can get up onto each one of these guard towers. And the barracks are just here by the well. As you can see, I chose the Falkreath banners and shields. Last time I chose Stormcloak and Need something? <laughs> got called out on it. <laughs> and check out the armor, by the way. This shiny helm. 
Nice little skirt. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Hmm. Cozy quarters. Not half bad, eh, for your guards? Oh, it's starting to snow. Ah, oh, yeah, the alchemy shop is round by the pub. for a second I couldn't remember where I'd built it <laughs> oh god the farmers have got their own house by the way which is neat over there hi there hi Teddy hi now, there I remember with the alchemy shop it looks like the most gorgeous me, my friend. alchemy shop look at that cauldron that is amazing the decoration in here is really nice. That's an alchemy lab that you can use. But her, she doesn't sell what you expect, or she didn't used to anyway. Take a look. Oh no, she's <laughs> she still doesn't. She sells a whole bunch of smithing stuff and armor, etc. So, you know, Until shame. Next time. But hey. Oh, sorry, Inigo. All of their little houses and quarters are fabulous, don't you think? And you can really... <laughs> you can really see. You can really see it all coming together now. The whole place is turning into a proper community. It's a really amazing place, because it's not just build your own house, it's build your own fiefdom. I haven't even started on our place yet. <laughs> you can see what I've got left. Blacksmith, carpenter, the hen house, hunter house, lumberjack and the temple. So I'll be right back.
Well, well done, team. <laughs> okay, so that's everything. And here's our castle. Fully complete. It's pretty fantastic. The whole place is pretty fantastic. I'll show you the temple first of all. It's very small, very plain. But a nice little central focal point for the village. We just had an attack by vampires and literally everybody got off their backsides and went to fight them. Very cool. I did actually record that, so uh, if you're thinking, yeah, I know that, I've just seen it, it's because I left it in. If you're thinking, oh, right, that's nice, <laughs> then I didn't. Very well behaved guards. Looks great, doesn't it? And I love the dinging of the bell. So despite the fact that it has a, a tower attached to it, you can't get to it yes. from inside. Hey Astrid. I... Take a look. She sells spells and scrolls and gems, basically. Very nice, thank you very much. All right then. And you see what I mean, it's plain. But nice to have. Need something? Okay, so our house. You could see I need? I got so many skill ups from doing the crafting, I don't know how many dings that I had <laughs> with my smithing. A lot, but then you know, I I when I'm not at a hundred, I try to get there as soon as I can. I've been a bit lame with my crafting in this playthrough. So this has been really handy for me. So here's the place that we started. Unbelievable, isn't it? And it now forms part of the front of the castle. And it looks great. And you can swap those banners out if you don't want, you know, if you decide they're not quite your cup of tea and you'd like a change. And there are all sorts of different options you can choose in the files. Uh, and also, <laughs> just make the carpenter first out of all the options. Choose carpenter first uh, if you don't want to have to make everything yourself. Wow, that is such a grim old day so soon. And also you can gather materials out in the world. There are hidden barrels uh, round about the place in Falkreath Hold. And if you speak to this guy... What do you need? You can change your armor. So this he's wearing the Felberg stuff at the moment. But you can have Imperial Stormcloak Falkreath. Let's go for that. To match our banners. Oh, that's much better. Nice. So, straight into your throne room. Oh, really? <laughs> and it's very nice. I mean, you can see this is Locaster's signature style. <coughs> very nice indeed. And straight from here into the dining room. Oh, boy, that's bright. I'm not wearing my travel lantern. And it's pretty gorgeous. Nice artwork, nice decoration. Smashing table setting. And I know this area quite well because, like I say, I had this in my old SSE game. And I would use this facility for sure. You can do it uh, twice a day. Ah, uh, so... Oh, I need help in everything, really. Oop, 93. Not as much help as I thought. Let's go block. That is pretty bad. So, twice a day you can use those. Here's Locaster's book. For a better world that you'll find in all of his homes.
And this is a lovely study, isn't it? Lots of bookshelves. Nice decoration. Feels really warm and cosy in here. <laughs> what is on your mind? Go ahead, ask away. Okay. I hope it was not oh. something I said. <laughs> yes, thank you. I will try to be a good guest. I have tried sending her home. Yes. So many times. I disagree. She's so mardy. Standing in the home of a hero. Oh, he likes it. Gorgeous decoration. And a really nice kitchen. Locaster does do kitchens to my taste for sure. It's cosy, it's attractive, cooking pot and an oven. <laughs> That's a bit weird. Great swords up your chimney. <laughs> Opening cupboards. Look at that. That is so neat. And I love this iron lattice work. Brilliant. Absolutely love, love, love the kitchen. Okay, so you've got choices up or down. Finish on this floor first. This will be your followers' quarters. Very nice and smart with their own dining room. And then your kids. So there's room for six. Beautiful decorations. These little dolls, they are adorable. This is such a smashing home. I really like it. I think this is probably my favourite of all of his. They're all pretty epic, but this one I think maybe because i built it myself as well i you know you have that deeper connection with it very nice okay well we'll go down first and then you've got this really super display hall more storage than you can shake a stick at So many weapon plaques and mannequins. It's a really nice room. I might have to change my banners. That purple doesn't really go with this orangey red, does it? So very fond of this. But it's not overwhelming, do you know what I mean? It's not massive. And it's easy to find your way around. Famous last words, but you know. <laughs> I'll go up there last. Your room just gorgeous. Cozy.
More storage. Beautiful globe, nice desk. Furniture is very classy, don't you think? Change your appearance mirror. Look at that goblet. That is so nice. And then your bath. And that beautiful bed. One of my viewers said in the comments on one of his other properties the other day that they would like Locasta to design their house in real life. Couldn't agree more. Another change your appearance mirror. And then you get this fabulous secret area. Oh, we all love one of those. And I just love how the mannequins are behind bars. <laughs> that makes me laugh. That is awesome. I know that'll make Phyllis happy because I know she hates these things. <laughs> Don't we all? So nicely done, isn't it? Try not to give you motion sickness going down the stairs. It's quite a traipse down there. As you can see. I love this. Look at this. It looks blue and gold. And then you're into this magical cavern. Quite fantastic, isn't it? And suddenly you've got displays for all your special things. <laughs> okay. Oh, my bags. <sighs> it's worse than my last video, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. There we go. Whoa. That's a lot more than at the uh, feudal keep. And there's his book again. <laughs> So it looks fantastic in here, don't you think? What if I could actually lock her in there or too late? <laughs> We are quite far underground here. Nice chest. Your ancestors in there, I guess.
so that whole place to me is just fantastic worth the download just for that Oh. <laughs> and then you've got this nice viewing platform where you can look over your fiefdom. Brilliant. Shame about the weather. Swear to God, if Serana says one more word to me about the weather, I'm going to have to kill her myself. And then finally, up here, your workroom, which is so charming. Staff enchanter, alchemy and an enchanter. And, you know, if you're too pooped to walk back down to go to bed, you just relax up here. It's really lovely. I love this room. In fact, this house, I think, is one of my absolute favourite of all of the big homes. Yeah, try again tomorrow. <laughs> Get lost, Darkstar. You've had your turn. Alright, well, I think that covers just about everything that I wanted to show you here. Um, this whole ad adventure, the whole embarking on a building like this, it's going to take... I can't even... I don't even know how many bits of wood you're going to need thousands and iron ingots thousands quarried stone definitely in the hundreds so you know it's if you do it properly and you don't cheat your way with the ingredients then uh you know the building materials rather uh then it's going to take you some time but it's so satisfying to see it all come together uh so i will leave it here with that view I'll call that the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon for the next one.